Fruit bowls are delicious unless you don't like fruit, but if you wanted to prepare it, you'd need a purple knife with a purple cutting board and blueberries. Also, African American berries. You're also going to want a pomegranate that is sealed in. Uh, we'll just put that over there right now. And of course, raspberries are good, so use those as well. And lastly, a poison apple. Oh, and bananas. Can't forget those fruits. And that should be pretty much it for your assortment of fruit. Um, bananas, apple, blueberry, African-American berries, and raspberries. Oh yeah, and you reject pomegranate. Ugh. So there's a few different ways to peel a banana. This is the standard way to pull out the top and screw everything up and then peel. Of course, your standard chopping method of up and down and then um, dicing it up to look somewhat like this. Now the secret version is to peel a banana from the bottom up or down, whatever you want to call it. And then you can take your knife and cut it actually right down the middle and you'll end up with some amount of banana that looks kind of like this. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And of course, uh, placing the chopped banana into a bowl is key. But then of course, after you do so, you realize uh, all this fruit's not gonna fit in there, so... Bigger bowl, there we go. Put it in a bigger bowl, a pink bowl preferably. All right, now on to the blueberries. Uh, blueberries are known for being depressed. Um, that's why they're so blue. When preparing blueberries, watch out for your gorgeous wife to steal your blueberries. Uh, you know what I forgot? You gotta wash your fruit first. Yep. Keep get all the particles off that government plastic. Get it off your fingers. Uh, now washing the blackberries. Good. And of course the raspberries. And be better safe than sorry, you know. Uh, with all the pollution in the world, uh, wash them peels up. All right, back to blueberries. Uh, you're gonna want to chop them in half if you want more uh, bite-sized uh, blueberries. And those go right in the bowl. And here we are chopping up the blackberries. Uh, you can do halves, or if you're more advanced cutter, you can do quarters. And into the pink bowl. Next you're going to want to take your green apple, and you can cut apples in various shapes and sizes. Um, the standard approach is to cut it uh, to not eat the core, and that is advised. Uh, get off, there we go. Uh, this is going to be the shape of a diamond, a.k.a. a Illuminati core apple. And after you have your apple chunks, uh, starting to cut them into french fry slices is advised as well. Uh, uh, now I'm, I feel like I'm going to cut my fingers off and I'm getting a lot of criticism on uh, how to cut, so uh, it's hard. Once again, you should up with, end up with some amount of apple that looks kind of like this. Look at it, it's a Illuminati apple core and a Spongebob apple core. Another tasty route is to uh, heat up your fruit by throwing it in your furnace and preheating your onion to 75 degrees. Oh, and that's how you break your oven. Another way to peel an apple is to put your apple on a 382 point Phillips screwdriver. I just made up the 3.82 part. So taking the blade and the apple and rotating it in a circular motion will give you the perfect um, apple slice. Um, this is a good way if you want to make a crafty thing. See, cooking should be fun. Uh, if this isn't fun, then you're, you're probably smart. Now on to our complicated pomegranate, getting this plastic off. Oh, oh, it's made in, oh, this pomegranate was birthed in America. Now, if you've never chopped into a pomegranate, prepared to have your mind blown. Look at that. The next obstacle is to get the seeds out of your pomegranate. I recommend using a wooden spoon and then beating your pomegranate senseless. Or if you're a savage barbarian, you can rip it apart with your hands. Uh, this technique is a lot faster, so do that. All right, now to top it off, you're gonna to wanna to put some lime juice on there. This is gonna preserve the fruit's color. Oh, this is lemon juice. Guess I'll have to live with the consequences. 
Oh, yep, yeah, there's my wife taking my nummies. Now give the good fruit a wang jangle and just, you know, wrestle it around a little bit. Now a little tip or secret is to add a splash of orange juice to the um, dish. Um, of course this is only necessary if all you have is orange juice in your house. And that's it. Now this dish has to be served immediately, so I hope I'm hungry. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to check out our next video where we talk about garlic and the effects it does to you. Uh, whatever.